Army Rangers are an elite unit of soldiers trained to take on special operations missions. During Army Ranger selection, candidates undergo extreme physical and mental tests, including a 12-mile rug march with 35 pounds of dry weight in three hours or less. And today, I'm challenging myself to complete this rug. Do I have what it takes to pass? Let's find out. The standard is under three hours, but I'm here with Moore and he says we're gonna get, what, two hours, 10 minutes? That's what you want. <laughs> Let me be clear, I've never rucked before. Got combat boots with a soft bottom, long socks, shorts, tee. We're gonna be using Element for hydration and electrolyte replenishment. 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium. Kinda nervous, but if you're nervous, that means you're doing something right. Let's get it. It's probably a bad time to tell you I'm nursing a torn hamstring. All right. But we'll be okay. All right, let's rock and roll. My name is Lauren Lynch. I'm a former ranger at 275 at Tacoma. There's only three battalions, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. I was stationed at 2nd Battalion at Fort Lewis. So the ruck is a huge crucial uh, part of what we do in every day, from jumping out of planes, moving, shooting, communicating, and carrying heavy loads. And so today, we're gonna be doing a 12 mile ruck, and I'll have 55 pounds dry, and this is what we do on a daily basis when we're in training, um, continuously from coming back from deployment, when we are deploying, we're constantly doing rucks. Um, it's part of our PT test, as well as selection tests. This far, first part, we feel pretty fresh. Hills, we'll just start walking. So once we hit a hill, we're just gonna step it out. Reserve energy. Yep, down hills, we're gonna coast. We started right before a big hill. Yeah, so, we'll be good. As I can see, we're getting a great warm up. We're getting to the top of the hill. And this is how I talk to myself when I'm in the military. That mental preparation uh -huh. of setting that in your head and telling yourself that, that gives you that line uh -huh. of wind. So once we hit that rock right there, those bunch of cluster of rocks, uh -huh. that's go time. Okay. And so that mentality and that mission mindset is something dear to me. And I, I was asked, hey, do you just want to be on the side? I said, no, I don't want to be on the side. I want to do this with you um, so that I can be able to show and show that respect back to my brotherhood. So Rangers lead the way. You want to heel toe, just a light, let the, the movement of your body push you down. So you, you let your feet just go a little bit limp and you just let it roll through and lean forward so that weight can push you forward. I'm gonna be proctoring Austin through this 12 mile ruck. He's kind of nervous uh, in this process. I'm gonna be taking his mental status, his body status, and we're gonna be uh, pacing it out, making sure we complete the mission. That's the number one key is looking out for each other. We have a battle buddy in that case, and that's how we're gonna to execute today. Yeah, dude, this backpack already broke. Did it really? <laughs> yep. Half a mile, half a mile in. What's our time? 10. 10? I'm sorry, 7, 20. Hamstring hurts a little. The road's busy out here. Didn't expect that. But we rolling. We're gonna have another hill coming up. Once we hit that sign, we'll coast. All right. 3.2 miles in. Feeling all right. Chafing, got a blister. Feels good though. I've already done one full bottle. About time to re-up. Not sure how I'm gonna re-up yet, but we'll, like, we'll figure it out. Matt, here you go. Whoops. Oh, you a shaker. I'm trying to keep these electrolytes in. This is the Raspberry Salt by Element. By the way, this video is sponsored by Element. Thank you guys for sending these over. I've been using these the night before a big sweat, a run. I've been drinking these religiously for the past three days to prepare for this. When we're walking, we stick to about 15, 15 and a half, but when we run, it goes down to like 11 to 13 anywhere. And then downhill, I've, I even saw us in the 10s. So we're 
taking gaps as far as running, conserving energy, we got another four of these to go. So we just did three miles. We're at three and a half miles to go. We got the other half of this six mile and then dip down and back. Look at this view. Isn't this awesome? All right, let's go. Time to get it. You guys wanna run? You wanna run with us? Come on. We're an hour in, 4.2 miles, breaching halfway, breaching. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little lightheaded, but I can still function. I'm good. Most, more so that once I'm done, I go back and I go and help my buddies. That's, that's my, my heart, I'm just encouraging. Complete the mission, make sure everybody's coming back home, different mentality but love it. I'm having to hold the backpack up so it's not rubbing against my back. The weight strap would pull it to my back. Well, I've got this backpack so high, it goes more like mid belly. Ideally, you want all your weight up high. You set your ruck high. So the weight is pushing you over your toes and you're using it to your bit, uh, benefit. Right now, the weight's pulling me back. That's not good. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Pace is about 11 and a half minutes when we start running. When we walk, it's about 15. Time's looking good. Y'all, if you're out and about, you're sweating a lot, super important to maintain those electrolytes, sodiums, potassiums. You can use like a pink Himalayan salt, or if you want some flavor, use supplement like Element. It tastes really good, and if you go through the link in the bio, you get a free sample pack with any purchase. D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash A-U-S-T-E-N. In another mile, we will hit halfway, which means we will turn around and come back. And that's when we kick it in gear. How are you feeling? Feel good. Start running. I start to feel a little lightheaded, but when I okay. get a chance to walk, I'm good. So let's work on really getting oxygen in, deep breaths through the nose, and then just slow exhales. We're 5.4 miles. We have 0.6 of a mile going straight down this road until we turn around and go back. Back the way we came. It's getting hot out here. It's probably 80. 85, something like that. A little bit humid here in Chula Vista, but it's a beautiful day. Ready to quit? Who, me? Nah, that keyword is not in my dictionary. Long strides now. So let those legs do their, do their work. I want you to exaggerate your step, walking it out, heel toe. So in this thought process, where your mind at? What type of like thoughts are you battling? One after another, yeah. I said, we're at four, we're about to make it to five, then we got one more, then we made it to six. Then I say, do one more after six, we're almost at seven, well, we're almost at six and a half. You're just knocking them down one by one. Do you have any doubt? Do you have any of those thoughts creeping in? Any doubt? Any doubt or any frustration? Nah. Keeping your mind clear? Yep. It's a good thing right there. I try not to think about it. A lot of the time the video guys will tell me to talk about something and I'm like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about anything. Hey Amen. You saw the mark, let's go, man. You saw where I started walking. Heel toe, let those legs go. Glide, glide. Let those feet just go. Let's pass that pull, let's pass that pull. Walking it out. Normally I wouldn't put that energy in my head that it hurts, but I'm just trying to convey to you guys, if you do try this, please try it with a buddy. Make sure you're staying hydrated because honestly, I don't remember anything past the sixth mile. I'm just kind of like in just go mode.
Almost home, man. Let's get it one step. Let's get up here past this yellow pole. I knew I had to, I had to pass. I had to pass. I came back for you. In a selection, there's a point when you both are doing a selection that you have to, no matter what, hit your time hack. If you don't, you're kicked out. So my mentality today, for being an example, I had to hit my time hack, then go back for my brother. Brother finished. That's the biggest thing is finishing. Because in RASP, you get a chance if you fail to do it again. Now with that said, if you ask to get picked up by the bus or the van, you're kicked out. So he survives another day. I was in a really weird headspace when I finished the rug. I was lightheaded. I was definitely fatigued. The total time, three hours, six minutes, 24 seconds. I didn't meet the cutoff time by about seven minutes. I was close I was so close but i didn't pass so i just want to let you guys know if you are rucking or if you're attempting this be sure to keep your electrolytes in stay hydrated electrolytes are important because they help regulate the amount of water in your body help regulate your body's ph level and they also help move nutrients in your cells so i also want to say thank you guys so much for a million subscribers it's been a really long and exciting journey i love sharing these videos with y'all thank you so much for watching this one and i'll see you in the next one